Hi hey everyone, Pali here. Welcome to the channel where I make how-to videos from subjects like Mac tips, backend, Swift, Salesforce, and game development. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe. Right, so I've been on a streak lately and I'm enjoying learning Unreal Engine. This is part six of my Blueprint series and in this video we're gonna learn how to use construction script in Blueprints and when and where to use it. So construction scripts run when you add an instance uh, of the Blueprint in your level which means it's great for procedural actors for world building unlike event grab where it only executes uh, during gameplay. So here's the level that I set up. I have this uh, wall that I have here that I'll appear uh, material supply. The cool thing about this wall though is I could during edit is I could adjust the number of wall that it has. It would uh, create another instance of that wall. So I could do this whatever uh, I please to and I could also uh, change the material all all while doing uh, edit and like uh, this spear here this other actor that I have here I have a material applied to it but it's not showing because I'm not in game mode so if I go under game mode that's the only time that the material will get applied to that uh, actor cool so let's jump into how to create that, uh, how to use that construction script. So I have here under my uh, content drawer uh, an actor that uh, called BP Wall. So under BP Wall, first let's go to the viewport. So this is a simple instant static mesh that I did. And here I applied the static mesh of wall 400 by 400. And I have a couple of variables that I created here. The number of sections and a material which, an ob which has a type of material uh, interface. Cool. Uh, if I jump into the construction script here, basically this would run um, every time you add this blueprint to your uh, level. So it, the first time run, this construction script would run. Uh, what I have here is a simple logic where I have the number of sections and for each one of those, I would decrease it as the last index here, but I run it through a for loop. So on my for loop, I add an instance of that, instance of that wall that gets instantiated. I would also adjust the location using the make transform here, and I'm adjusting it by 400 using that uh, value there. So that's how that logic works. So that's how I'm able to adjust this by adding another instance of it and giving it a width of 400 on my transform logic. Cool. And then um, going further than that, I have this uh, set material where I have that reference to that material interface. And that this interface, I have them both as instance editable. Um, so that's why I have them showing here under the details. Cool. Uh, another cool thing about uh, construction script is you could also call uh, custom events or functions. So here, uh, let me jump here. Here on the function here, I created a new function called uh, new function just for the naming. And it's basically just setting the uh, relative location, adjusting it to uh, 100 on the Z axis. So if I hook this up to my construction script, so let me call that new function compile then go up you would see that on my level the wall is now raised up by 100 um, you could do the same so if I move this and copy this to you could do the same on the event you could create a custom event and wire that up like so. So let me just compile that. Make sure it's reset. So it's down on the on the ground. If I go back to my construction script and call my custom event, compile, save. Now it's back up again. So that's how you could use the construction script. You could use the call a, call a function or um, a custom event. Now. Uh, this sphere that I have here is just a simple actor. So this actor has nothing on it. Um, it's just a spear uh, as a component on the event graph. As you can see, it only executes on event begin play. 
that's why when I hit play here that's the only time that this um, material gets applied to it cool so that's in a nutshell how you would use a uh, construction script uh, versus uh, the event graph cool so hope you like this video hope you learned something um, about it uh, cheers bye for now